sought my son. I have never forgotten. Not of chaos. Instead, we shall bring chaos upon him. And we have further chaos agents to help us in this moment. Now we just need to hide. Cargo, one artillery, must hide. So far, we have done well. I'm sure you will approve. Here is an enemy. Enemy armor is damaged. Ha! Ha! We spread death wherever we go. No! I got a dragon <laughs> I saw it coming in slow motion. But it matters not. We have sown the seeds of death, and our agents shall finish the job that we started. They killed our driver. They killed our driver. They be here in person. But we are here in spirit. Come on. Come on. Finish them off. Destroy the... They are all but sacrifices for the altar. The praise of the grandfather, Rakor. I have become that which I want to feel. Then, God and what comes all much like Imperium and watch its final rotting. There we go. I hope that's enough chaos for everybody because I'm feeling faint doing that voice. No, duh, no joke. Woo, it's not the CO2. I have a CO2 monitor. So I keep looking over there. I have a CO2 monitor to make sure it doesn't get too high while I do these closed room. Uh, streams, but that voice makes me feel faint. Woo! Third place! There you go. Not so bad. Chaos complete. So, we got to move on to the Sisters of Battle. And I'm hoping oh, I don't have the Sister of Battle. No! So, I'm going to show the 2D skin first. And I have prepared the BDR team. I think the Air Realm BDR share the same. And I've prepared this earlier. I just haven't done the consumable. 
Okay, so I'm just going to re... Throwing all my gold away. Show you all what's available. This is the 2D Sister of Battle skin. If you don't remember, you buy this from the shop. This is a uh, one-off bundle that gives you the 3D skin and the 2D skin, plus the uh, Space Marine. Um, I shall put the play kit on, large repair kit, and strong coffee for my ladies. All right. Look at that. And we're going to add the power armor on, of course. Proof hardening is basically power armor. So we're going to have that. In place of the Sister of Battle, we're going to have the Sister of Winter. And we're going to go into battle. I'm not going to do the Sisters of Battle voice because that would probably just sound offensive, me doing a female voice at this point. So, yeah. Let's uh, do that. All right. Into battle we go. Oof. I do feel dizzy. Oh, tier six pure. All right, it's gonna be a good battle. We're gonna focus more on our performance. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Look at that Christmas skin. Looks so good on the OI. Uh, I am a sister of battle. Now, if you are into the lore of the sisters of battle, this one is of the, and I need to look it up because I'm going to mispronounce it otherwise, the Adepta Sororitas. I, I, I unfortunately don't follow the Sisters of Battle. I've, I've not heard this name before. For the Emperor! There we go. I'm not going to do the Force Commander voice either. I'm going to have a little bit of a break. Then when we go back to the Ultramarines, I can uh, do that better. I think I'm going to go to the second tier here. That's where I'm going to perform best. Woo! What a game to set of games today. We're on a roll. And I swear it's because the Emperor is watching over us. And Mork. Actually, I'm not entirely sure if I was right. Is it Mork? I didn't do my research. It's good off. I have some notes. I'm getting some of my quotes from. Ah! I, sh I should have written that down. I swear I looked it up. <laughs> Tiger! So the ARL is incredibly well armored, I think. As I get penetrated. Did he hit me in the... What? What? I know the front plate. Ah, oh, yeah, the turret's the weak spot. That's it. Oh, my God. But the lower plate is actually really powerful. If you can hit, get them hitting the lower plate, you're doing great. But the uh, turrets, you don't want to go hold down with the ARL. It's, it's the other way around. This tank is like, you kind of want to bait them to hit the lower plate, not the turret. Um, the tur it's the lower plate that's like super good. Uh, up and oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, he is probably... Oh. Ah, no, 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 no. Gotta go for the kill shot. Is look away. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Damn it! APCR, 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 penetrated my turret, guaranteed. Uh, he wanted revenge on me. That's my fault entirely. I forgot that the area was um, really tough on the front uh, upper glacius, um, but not on the turret. That was, that was entirely my fault. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Forget that. Forget that. I'm allowed one bad battle, right? That's my free one bad battle. I was a bit too aggressive. I got so hyped up from the uh, previous battles that I kind of forgot what I was doing. Here's an E25 in the Ultramarine 2D skin. It has my all-female crew in it. Um, we can definitely take that out for a spin later if you want. Uh, here's what it looks on a, on a bigger tank. And I think it looks much better on the bigger tank. So the GK4502 uh, looks gorgeous on. Um, the Tiger piece, these it looks okay. I think the really, really big fat tanks is the where it really, really suits it. And it's not so bad on the small one, but it doesn't give you that grandoise feeling that it, it, it does. So we have the full 3D skin here, the 2D skin here. And the 2D skin looks good in my opinion, like really, really good. And you get that just by activating for people who've just joined us. Just by activating the battle pass, that's all you have to do, and you will gain the 2D skin for any of your German tanks. And then you have the E25. That's what it looks like on a small, the, two, the 2D skin on the small. Now, the Batchat has the Sisters of Battle amazing skin. I mean, just look at this. 
It's so gorgeous. I'm just putting it off because I'm scared about how bad I'm going to perform with this. Um, but look how gorgeous it is. It's just, I mean, it's so good. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, if you're um, not following all the news always, or you've maybe taken a break from World of Tanks, and you've come back just to look at the 40k stuff, we actually had some Imperial Guard stuff back in the day. So here is the KV-2 um, R skin. This is the Imperial Guard. Um, oh my God. I forget which Imperial Guard one it is. The, it's called the Valhallen Ragnarok, and Valhallen is the, not Cadian, it is, oh, I forget which one. I, you, I am a bit old now, I don't play as much as I used to, but they are the, ah, I'm going to forget, the Valhallen, right? Actually, that is the name of them. I'm going to have to Google it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to Google it. You guys will have to see my browser again. We're going to have to Google um, Valhallen 40k. It is Valhallen, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm like, oh, what, which, which race is it? Valhalla, it's the snow guys. Valhalla, what? It's the Valhalla's, of course. Then you have the Cadian skin. I think we have that on the BDR, right? Or the Mordian skin. There you go. It even says it on there. You don't even need to be a 40k player. I was the jungle fighters. See? That's why I'm not so good with the other. Like, that's my excuse. That's a Chan, as I called them. But yeah, it is perfect. Oh, what a choice. Yeah, the BDI is absolutely the perfect choice for the Imperial Guard. It looks exactly like a Lehman Russ. And I think this one looks good. KV-2. Uh, let's give it a try. Uh, the KV-2 is ready to go. Let's throw it into battle. So this is with the old Derp Cannon. Uh, by Derp Cannon, we mean a massive cannon that's a bunker buster. It throws shells, explodes, does big damage if it hits. Um, really, really good against lightly armored targets. Heavily armored targets can be more resistant, but if you can find a weak spot, you can always do some damage, but the slow reload doesn't justify it. You really want to find those lighter tanks. Pure six again. This time we're going to try and take it a little bit slower and not suicide like I did with the BDR. I'll try that uh, BDR again. I'm, I can't believe how aggressive I was. Oh my god. Right, Empire's Border. Well, last time we did this, we um, did great. No, we lost. No, we did great and we lost. Played Empire's Border three times today. Wow. Um, but yeah, we are going to try and get down to there. If, there. if we're late, we might go up the hill instead. Because that's where a lot of the light tanks are. So we might go up there as well. Let's find out. But we're going to play there. I don't think we're going to get to anywhere else with this vehicle. We've got for extra hit points because no one cares about Imperial Guardsmen. Um, so we are going to just go for an extra fat tank with extra reload because firing more shells is always a good thing. And yeah, let's we'll see how that goes. This has been cool. What a stream so far. What a stream so far. If you have any questions about the Battle Pass, drop it in the chat. And sure, someone will be around to answer the questions, even if this is on a repeat, because, you know, I can't be here all the time, and we often... Um, oh, 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 oh. Gotcha! <laughs> 650! Bye-bye, T50-2. Bye-bye. So if I just broke your ears, um, we're going to go up here because if we're going to have more people like that turning up, all we have to do is click for victory. <laughs> of course, the uh, artillery wants a piece of us, but he's not going to do anything. Our turret is tough enough. Um, oh, he's going to do that? Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I had auto drive still on. I had auto drive still on. At the exact moment my repairs kicked off, I fired. And uh, moving makes your aim bloom, just in case you didn't know. I'm going to let this guy shoot at me. I don't think he can penetrate me. But instead, I'm just going to reload and see if he pokes again. We have a Type 40, uh, 64 coming up his rear, so that should be okay. I'm going to turn around this corner and see the AMX. Is he still there waiting for us? Oh, the Yag Tag. Uh, is he going to come and poke? No? Okay, we're going to climb the hill. Right Remember, the KV-2 is like the toughest tank of the tier. It's super well armored. 
so if something comp it's either something to penetrate you or con. I mean, look at this artillery just hit me directly, tracked me, stunned me a little bit, and did 130 damage. I can get hit 10 times by this guy before I will die. Oh, the AMX went over them. Nobody's our health kit. I'll get him to get out of range of that. Oh, he's gonna run away? He's gonna actually try and run away. We're gonna come up here and find him. Now we're gonna be safe from the artillery. There he is. We're gonna be safe from the artillery. There he is. And oh, we got caught on the rock. No wait. We're gonna lose sight. He's rushing the diplomats. We're gonna turn around and go down and help our team. Dickamax should win. Actually, no, we need to kill the AMX. If he comes around our rear, we're in trouble. So we're gonna help the Dickamax. Make sure he wins that fight, and then we're going to go down. It, it might be a waste of time if the Dickamax wins. Right, it's a waste of time. But if, it, if he didn't win, and he was very close to dying, we would have um, died. But I'm actually going to come down now and hope for the team. Hopefully there's still some enemies left. Yep, uh, there will be. The Object 244 and the KV-2 will be there. Uh, fall back. Fall back, Type 64! The Imperial Guard are coming. Imperial Guard voice acting is just simply shouting as a human. Oh no. Click. Just gotta rush one. We're gonna make sure that we can. He knows I've got a long reload, so he's ignoring me, going for the type. We're just gonna kill him as soon as we come off reload. No! Oh, we're gonna try and prevent him from killing us. Come on. Hopefully that artillery doesn't reload in time. We can just keep close. No! Well, we still won the game. Woo! Victory. He's gonna come out. Are we gonna see him? Dead? No, he's not. He's not gonna expect me to come. Boom, baby! Moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I'm vulnerable there if there's anyone left in base. But let's move. Again, charging headlong. We're not gonna be being delayed. We're not gonna make the enemy be able to take advantage of the other flank being. Boom! KV2! Kaboom! But we have the Emperor on our side. We're just going to push forward. You see, if there's fewer enemies, the last thing you want to do is sit in a sniping battle. Overwhelm them, you know? Get there. Oh, what? Um, excuse me? And then we find out there's so many. I over peaked. The, um, we didn't actually have an overwhelming force. The, these guys sat back. If they had actually come in with us, it may have done better. But honestly, it was just enemy play better than us. We lost. Oh well. And I think we're back. Uh, sorry for that. If you're watching the repeat, you'll probably just see a cut there. Otherwise, 
We're back and we're looking at the Sister of Battle, Cleansed by Fire Skin. And if you don't know how to get it, it's the store. Um, I think it's on Best or Event. And you scroll down, there it is. And you click on the Battle or Event. And you scroll down, there it is. And you click on the Battle Pass, Cleansed by Fire Skin. And you can purchase that. Uh, the price, I think, is different per region. Right. Uh, what do I say about this skin other than it's super gorgeous? This is unfortunately, this, this ramming fence at the front is just for show. You don't get any bonuses to stats or anything like that. It's just super gothic, um, awesome and cool. The trouble is, it's on the bat chat and... Oh, I just noticed the equipment setup broke. Uh, I can throw my turbocharger over there and get a little bonus. And oh, my... And oh my, what's it called? Super balls are the wrong way. Okay, done. Let's jump into battle. The battle is a pretty difficult tank to play. It is very lightly armored, usually just bouncing shots rather than actually preventing penetration. It's usually because of the weird angles. It's got good camo and good visibility for well, good vision compared to most tanks of its tier. However, um, once you're spotted, you basically implode. So you need to be always able to manipulate the terrain and or vision mechanics to really make this tank go. And that's not necessarily my strongest points if you've been watching the stream for a while. So, yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, so let's just do our best. I'm gonna just follow the team around, maybe go to the castle and hope that I can do something. One of the things about fast tanks is that you can go too far ahead of the team, be unsupported and die alone. Um, yeah, so I do suffer from that. And I hope I don't suffer from it right now. Let's go. Whoop! I'm glad I saw that. Yeah, see, I'm alone. However, I am... Whoa. It's three artillery. I'm gonna dodge here. Oh, oh, oh. E. You have to call for help. the i7? Uh-oh. Someone managed to get the shots on the fish. I thought, well, I don't Ah, uh, no, no, he's waiting. I forgot. How did I forget? That's entirely on me. I just somehow zoned out that the T-62A is there guarding his teeth. Okay. Come on, teammate. Woo! I'm so sorry I went silent there for a second. I... I got overloaded by what was going on. I, I'm not used to driving the batch out at all. Um, I'm going to say thanks to this guy because uh, he really did help. Um, okay, so what do we do now? I think I will back off. I think I'll get some speed. Attack the grille. I can get out without being spotted even better. Grille down there. I did get out without. Oh no, I got spotted. Okay. Back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Okay, right, got to give my thoughts. Um, we have an I-7 up there now with the Pajetto fighting the T-62A. Uh, That's great, but I want to start making some play with the team. I don't want to just sit here doing nothing. I want to try and snipe that Grilly if I can help it, if I can. 
Oh, where's he going? Oh, he's been picked up by something else. He may, maybe. I'll poke out here to see if he's been spotted. Don't get spotted. Go further. I'm testing my sixth sense. I don't want to get spotted when trying to ambush this guy. Ambush this guy. Okay, if he retreats, I'm going to get him. He didn't just spot me, did he? Oh my god! Oh no, the Pagetto! Don't die, Pagetto! Okay, I'm gonna go. Do it, let's do it together. Woo! This is crazy! Absolutely bananas! We're gonna make a break round the back! The entire friendly team has collapsed on the other side though, so this has to be fast. We can kill all their artillery, because we lost... Oh my god, we've lost everything. I'm going as fast as I can. If we can pick up some kills here. This will be amazing. There's one. One kill. Oh, the STB-1 is this. Okay. Woo! And... We'll capture back. Oh no! I started reloading and the Manticore's on the way! Oh no! No, 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 if I had not done that! He knows where I am though. I need to... Well, we did quite well. Um, it's just a very difficult time. I looked good doing that, but I think I'm getting tired. I think that um, I'm just, you know, not going to do well on this tank. I'm going to try one more time, and we're going to see if we get a better uh, game than that. Uh, I did okay. I, I, probably for the team, I'm in the top few, but I didn't. You can see that it was hard for me because I couldn't mess around. Like, mentally, I'm, like, all there. And, yeah, top of the scoreboard. I mean, that's as good as I can get it. It's all right. I threw in a bit of early HP. So I think what we will do, instead of playing that again, we'll do something fun, like the KV-2 or the Chaos. Um, the KV-2, this is Imperial Guard. Oh, no, we have the, um, the, the Modern, the BDR. Maybe we can do a BDR game. Hmm, uh, nah, You've, you can see the skin. The BDR, is, it's a classic Imperial Guard. You can't get that right now, but it might be available. I'm not entirely sure, but it's not part of this battle pack. This is the tank from the battle pass. This is the tank from the battle pass. This is a tank from the battle pass. And this is a skin on a small tank from the battle pass. This is the 2D skin from the battle pass. And... This is the Chaos skin from the Nurgle skin from the Battle Pass, the 2D1. And this is the Orcs 2D skin. This is... There we go. That is all the skins we have for the Battle Pass. I unlocked everything with cash. You can do it by working your missions, your daily missions. And at the end, if you have points, you can spend it on things like... The Condor, the Storm, the Welsh Blues, these 3D skins, crew members like these guys, if you didn't pick them up from previous uh, battle passes. And for tokens, you can pick up the Cobra. This is one that has been incredibly rare. So for 24 tokens, I got 21. Uh, you can get this one, right? So look at that gorgeous machine. Anyway, all right, remember what happened here today. The battle pass number eight is...